Hello, this is this is Aronian here, and this is my first YouTube video that's probably going to actually make it to YouTube. Um, this is my redstone tutorial videos, although it has nothing to do with redstone, frankly. Episode 1, we have ore and the inputs of redstone. So let's go over here. Now this is what redstone ore looks like. Yeah, kind of shiny when you right-click on it. Just a little fizzy thing. I think it's kind of cool. Alright, first chest here. Uh, Alright, we have some picks. Alright, let's try it. You can't get it with a wooden pick. You can't get it with a stone pick. You can't get it with a gold pick. Oh, you can't get it with an iron pick. Or a diamond pick. I'm just going to pick diamond because it's faster here. Now, then you'll get this stuff, this redstone. Uh, it's like... I think before this update is called redstone dust, but now it's just redstone. Um, you can place it on the ground simply by right clicking, left click to pick it up. It's instantaneous, you, and it will line itself up. If you put it against each other, it'll turn corners. It'll even do this, which is kind of weird. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put it there. Put this back, and then this is what I have from the wiki redstone ore book I made. Okay, the data value is 73, and somewhat common at levels 1 to 19, and appears in veins of 2 to 6 blocks. Use a diamond, iron, or diamond pickaxe to mine it, like I just did. If you step on or click on it, it will emit a light level of 9. Huh. Commonly found near lava and usually close to gold or diamond. Very interesting. Never rest it. That stone is very, very useful. Now, what we have here is a lever, which is basically right click is a toggle. You can also left click, although I just do it right click all the time because if you do it left click in creative mode, it destroys it. It's basically like a toggle. That's based. Redstone is based on Boolean logic, like zeros and ones, true and false. So right now it's in the unpowered or zero state. When you have the power source turned on, it will go onto the on or one state. Notice it is brighter here than it is here. Because if you extend it long enough, the charge will stop altogether, as you can see. It gets dimmer, dimmer, and then it stops. That's where the that's where it ends and you can't power anything from there. It goes 15 blocks, and then the 16th block is the unpowered one. Just to be clear. Alright, and this is how you make a lever. You have a stick on top of a piece of cobblestone. You can have it anywhere in your crafting inventory. As long as a stick over a piece of cobblestone, you'll get one lever. And then next, we have the pressure plates. Now, there's a difference between these pressure plates, and I'll show you why. Um, wooden pressure plates are lighter than stone pressure plates. Uh, traditionally, they're broken by picks and axes. Thing is, if you, th you throw an item um, on the wood one, it will activate it. Whereas, if you throw up the stone one, it will not. It needs to be heavier. Although, so you have to have a mob or another player on it in order for it to work. Although, it also works for the other one as well. And this I craft stone push. Not this one. <laughs> Two smooth stone right next to each other. If you do three in a row, that will actually make smooth stone slabs. So you don't do it wrong, and you get it says pressure plate, but it's a stone version. And then just two planks. I have oak wood planks because it's classic. You can mix or match them any way you want. Um, and then next we have buttons. Um, it's not like a toggle like the lever over there, but it basically gives a temporary charge. Like right click. And it turns off automatically. Right now it's about a little less than a second, but when the next update comes out, I believe it will extend to about 1.2 seconds. And so this is a stone button. Craft it kind of like the stone pressure plate, except they're on top of each other, and you get a stone button. Right, next, this was added more recently in 1.3. Um, this, are, these are trip wires. You have uh, the way you do is that you step over between them and you will get and it will activate it. Also if you break it, 
and you put them together at string, but if you go like this, it also does not activate. You have to go directly over the string. As you can see, there's a little hitbox right there. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit different. And how you craft um, tripwires is you put iron ingot, stick, cobblestone. It will still be the same as long as it's in that order. You will get two tripwire hooks, one pair. Okay, then let's go over here. And then now for some of the basics, uh, redstone torch, which is redstone dust on top of a stick will give you a torch. And let me show you this really quick. That redstone torch will give you a constant output. It will only to be turned off unless it's powered by another block, which we'll be discuss in another episode, or you break it and take it away. I can see constant power source. It can be useful in itself like this, although being used as like an inverter, etc., is much more useful. And then, oops. And next we have the rest of the repeater, which is made by two storches, a piece of dust, three smooth stone, and you'll get one redstone repeater. It will align the way you point it. You can break those in your hand, obviously. And it's the thing about this is that this will strengthen the redstone signal so that it can continue farther than it normally would. Uh, so I normally it'd stop there, but if you put on the 16th block, see how it gets lit up, you can extend it. Now it's just for inputs on that we just discuss the other functions of the redstone repeater until later episodes because this is strictly outputs. And so now I believe that is it. And no mobs around. I made sure I killed them before, especially the spy chickens that are everywhere. What's this? Oh, there's some over there. It's far late enough. But what's this right here? And never trust a pressure plate that's like that. But for the heck of it, this is the video. I'm going to try it. Oh crap, you'll soon learn what that is. And I died from fall damage. That hurt. I'll have to tell you, that hurt a lot. I'll see you guys. This is the end of my redstone video. And I think I'll see you next time.